in our word for today on this Holy Thursday, and we're taking our readings from the evening mass of the Lord's Supper uh, today, several options on this Holy Thursday, but we'll take our readings uh, from the evening mass of the Lord's Supper, and our word for today is washed. Washed is our word for today. Our first reading, and there are two readings along with the gospel reading, our first reading is from the book of Exodus, chapter 12. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, On the tenth of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring one, and shall share in the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be a year old male and without blemish. You must take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the fourteenth day of this month, and then with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to the door, two doorposts and the lintel of every house in which they partake of the lamb, that same night they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. This is how you are to eat it, with your loins girt, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand. You shall eat like those who are in flight. It is the Passover, it is the Passover of the Lord. For on this same night I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn on the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt, I the Lord. But the blood will mark the houses where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generations shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. Our responsorial psalm, Psalm 116, Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving. I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. Our second reading, a reading from St. Saint Paul's letter to the Corinthians, first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 11. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. I give you a new commandment, says the Lord. Love one another as I have loved you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and head as well. Jesus said to him, Whoever has bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. 
So when he had washed their feet and put his garments back on and reclined at table again, he said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I, therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do. Mm. Washed our word for today, our Holy Father's thoughts uh, regarding today's gospel reading. These he shared during his homily on Holy Thursday at the uh, Veletary uh, Correctional Facility on April 18th, 2019. Again, the correctional facility uh, there in Rome. He who is Lord performs this act of slaves, and then he advises everyone, you also ought to wash one another's feet. This is serve one another, be brothers in service, not in ambition, as one who dominates others or who oppresses others. No, be brothers in service, and each of us must be servants of others. This is Jesus' rule and the rule of the gospel, the rule of service, not of dominating, of doing harm, of humiliating others. Service. We too must also be servants. It is true that there are problems in life. We argue amongst ourselves, but this must be something that passes, something fleeting, because in our heart there must always be this love of serving others, of being at the service of others. Washed our word for today. I want to focus in on just one sentence from the gospel reading today. Look, there is so much <laughs> that we could uh, that we could extract here, so much we could spend our time on. But I want to, and, and and I'm sure Andrew will take us on a deep dive later. But I want to I want to focus in on this one sentence. Peter said to him, "You will never wash my feet." He's saying to Jesus, and Jesus answered him, "Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Unless I wash you." You will have no inheritance with me. So we see this kind of this precursor to what the Lord is doing for us. We see it in the in the gospel in the first reading today in the book of Exodus, as we have this first Passover. And what is required of the people of God in the first Passover that they that they slaughter the lamb and then that they put the, the blood on the doorpost of the lamb. Uh, the, the, the the lamb's blood on their doorpost. And if the the angel sees that blood, they pass over, right? Well, maybe. Because there's a second instruction. Now they are to eat the entirety of the lamb. And it's to be divided out according to how big your family is, how much lamb you get. But when that lamb is given to you, when that portion is given to you, you are to eat the entirety of it. So if you put the blood of the lamb on the doorpost, and say, you know, we're a little tired. We'll wait and eat that lamb tomorrow. Your firstborn is dead. There are two instructions here. The blood is required. And the participation in the eating of the lamb is required. Taking that lamb and consuming that lamb into your own body is absolutely required in that Passover. As it is required now. As again, it was... Remember, the Lord's Supper was the Passover celebration. This was done at the at the Last Supper. This was them uh, following this command of God that this was to be a perpetual institution. This consuming of the lamb would last forever, perpetually. Well, how does it last perpetually? Because Jesus becomes the lamb. The the son of God who consumes the lamb at Passover then becomes the lamb of God that we consume. And in the same way, as we see in Passover, not only was it necessary to mark with the blood, not only was it necessary to be saved by the blood of that lamb, but in order to be saved by that, by the blood of that lamb, you also had to add to that the consumption of the lamb. And so we have the same opportunity today to claim this death and resurrection of Jesus Christ as our own by being baptized in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit using water and then this proclamation that Jesus is Lord and then the consumption of the Lamb, the consumption of Jesus himself in the Eucharist. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life within you. 
And so we are to eat, we are to consume just as they did in the original Passover. We are to consume that body and blood of the lamb, body, blood, soul, and divinity in this case, as we participate in the consumption that of the food that, he, that Jesus himself has provided, which is Jesus himself. And in that way, we are washed, we are made clean, and we too are hear this uh, hear this from Jesus Himself as He speaks to Peter. Unless I wash you, you have no inheritance with me. And in this way, we are washed and made clean, and have an inheritance with the Lord Jesus Himself by the food that Jesus provides, which is Jesus Himself. Uh, the institution of the Eucharist we mark on this Holy Thursday. As we mark the priesthood, as we mark so many other things, the washing of Jesus, Jesus washing the feet of his disciples. But we also mark this day as the first day uh, when this gift, this eternal gift of the Eucharist is shared with us. Washed, our word for today. Mm -hmm.